Om Shanti. Today is your 48th day of your beautiful blessing and in this blessing God is explaining to us that we all souls are looking for mukti that means liberation in life and we are also looking for a life where there is complete liberation that happens only in heaven on earth or shambhala or shangrila so god the father says that for that to happen you have to give away your intellect and surrender it to me see till today in the previous blessings also we have realized that we have been either thinking on our own through our own impure mind or we have been asking other people for guidance and direction and on that basis we have been doing sins in our life we have been doing wrong karmas in our life and we be getting entangled into different karmas why so because baba says that at the end of kaliyug none of the souls are pure nobody is pure so that's why we have to give away your intellect to me so let's find out what baba exactly has to say in details so baba says may you make your intellect clean with the consciousness of surrendering it to god and become full of all treasures what are the treasures let's explore them to accumulate the treasures of knowledge one is the treasure of knowledge which god gives if my intellect is not clean and clear i'm thinking of other things i'm getting attached to other people i'm thinking taking decisions from other people's guidance my own guidance my own old intellect which is not a pure intellect then the treasure of knowledge will not settle into mind because baba says for knowledge to settle into your mind you have to have a very pure intellect a golden intellect so meditation helps you to make your intellect pure and golden then knowledge at this elevated time that is a treasure this is a very elevated time this is the time when souls get to meet the supreme soul we souls get to meet him in person imagine that in a very incognito manner because god doesn't want any kind of pomp and show he doesn't want any kind of important he doesn't want people to praise him while he's standing in, in in his glory no he doesn't want all that he's beyond all those things so when he comes he comes in a very incognito manner nobody gets to know that only a few chosen souls they are called upon by god to take the knowledge who have a pure heart who have a huge heart who have the heart of healing souls in the world they are healer souls so then baba says to accumulate the treasures of knowledge at the celebrated time and to multiply one by one 100000 is to accumulate you multiply that treasure many fold the basis of becoming full of all these treasures is to have a clean intellect and an honest heart even to increase your wealth you need to have a very clean intellect if you are taking suggestions from thousands of people through thousands of sources at the end of the day there's so much of mud in the water unsettled you are swaying it left and right gathering different sources so your mind is like a cluttered water which is like completely full of all muck and mud and you don't know where to look there's no clarity so baba says similarly over here and if you want to increase the treasures of life of peace of knowledge of happiness and bliss and power and many more things which are spiritual in nature and also the worldly treasures you have to have a very clean intellect have a clean intellect and an honest heart these two things are the ones which make you go ahead in life however your intellect can only become clean now listen to it very carefully can only become clean when you know the father see until us unless we don't know a source which is pure and powerful and always benevolent we have been going towards human resources we have been depending upon human beings who at the end of kaliyuga are not pure to be very straight with you your own family members your relatives all of them are kaliyugi souls that means none of them are pure all respect to them but the souls are not pure because they have got tired of taking so many births it's not their mistake also they are tired of taking so many births they are full of physical illnesses or they are full of mental illnesses they are suffering from anger greed ego jealousy hatred lust or many more things so many conflicts are there in their life that for them to give you the right guidance has become more and more difficult 
and it's going to become more and more difficult as we move ahead and the kali becomes even more darker this age the iron age so baba at that time at this time he comes down and he gives us the guidance that you give your intellect to me so baba says your intellect can only become clean when you know the father first you have to know the father if you don't recognize the god the father who is he how is he what is his in his mind how does he create a new beautiful world how does he change my life how does he give me liberation from all the sins and all the different sadnesses sadness and all the different sufferings in life we cannot achieve all that without knowing the father so when you know the father with your intellect that means you know that your intellect is getting refined when you get to know the father you no longer depending on human beings for the suggestion you have your own wisdom you have your own third eye you are able to understand with your intellect and you surrender it to the father earlier we were asking other people we were using our own intelligence at kalyug we know that even our intelligence is not powerful enough it's not pure enough so we are making mistakes more and more we're getting into our own web of thoughts and web of sins and getting more sadder and getting more heavier in the mind so baba says give your intellect to me that means let me tell you what to do how do we do that in brahma kumaris we get to hear the muli every single day that's the godly guidance the shrimat we meditate every single day that's his guidance so then baba says slowly and steadily your sins will get over and you will do well in your life you'll be able to take better decisions so baba says you surrender it to the father to surrender that is to give your shudra intellect which intellect shudra intellect a shudra is a caste system in india shudra doesn't mean that you are a cobbler or you are the one who's cleaning the toilets shudra as per god means somebody who has got lust anger greed ego attachment jealousy hatred and many more negativities in a in the in the mind is a shudra soul it depends doesn't matter where you are born you could be born in a very rich family but your intellect is very dirty very malign and you belong to a shudra clan so baba says to surrender that is to give your shudra intellect is to receive a divine intellect so we offer give offerings to god god says i don't need those offerings you don't need to give me the fruits and the money i don't need it i don't even eat it i don't even spend it so you offer me your weaknesses and in replacement for that i'll give you a divine intellect but first learn to offer how do we do that come and learn it at brahma kumaris the method of offering to god through meditation through imbibing good qualities through the murli which we read the divine knowledge with this i leave you om shanti